Uh, my teammates let me know, though, my stats. At, uh, I think it was like 12 minutes to go. So, I mean, I'm happy I got one, and I'm happy we got the win. Yeah, that's, that's Bruce Brown. There's really nothing else that I could honestly explain. You know, that's, he's one of the reasons why I really came here, and, you know, it, it show, it's evident on the court. You know, 10 points, 10 rebounds, 11, I mean, 11 rebounds, 10 assists. He's going to do that almost any game without really noticing what he can do. So, uh, you know, that's that's what he does. That's his name, Bruce Brown. Call him Triple Dub if you want. Um, I think the effort wasn't there in the first half, and our offense looked terrible. Um, so we uh, just regrouped, uh, talked in the locker room. Uh, brought the energy back, and then we came back in the second half and played the way we know how to play. That uh, alley-oop uh, from Bruce Talani, how long was that in the works, and how many of those were you going to see over the course? Um, I mean, since the first day I seen him, since the first day he got on campus, I knew he could jump. So, I mean, it's been in the works since, since open gym. Yeah. But we probably going to have a lot more of those. A lot more, a lot more. I could have had him the second time. I just don't want to throw the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, oh, anything else? Bruce, just the, the first game out of the way, uh, just kind of more of what you saw tonight and then, you know, quick turnaround or something else. Um, man, we got a lot of fire to us. Um, DJ didn't shoot it well tonight, but, you know, as, as we all know, he can get hot as he had 30 in the exhibition. Um, but on Sunday, we just got to bring energy, um, stick together, and play the way we know how to play. And uh, Sunday should be the outcome as tonight. Like DeJuan, also the second half, he came alive. Can you talk about his performance? Uh, I think we just had to get him touches, uh, get him going, get him easy buckets, uh, and then that's how he starts. Buka had a great game, too. I think he had a double-double. So um, our bigs, we just got to feed them the ball, and then they'll work. Lonnie, was it uh, what you expected? Um, absolutely. Uh, it's definitely what I expect. I mean, the first half it isn't what I truly expected. You know, we started off slow, but the second, off, second half, once we got the ball going, flowing, doing what we do, um, we're kind of unstoppable. So I pictured this since July, since I first got here, because I got faith in Bruce, I got faith in Jaquan Newen, Buka, you know, the list goes on and on. You know, we're a great team, and that's how we have to play in the second half. What, what did that first basket feel like? Uh, it was a lot different. I kind of fumbled the ball, and then when it went in, I looked up, I was like, that's my first point, because it's kind of ironic, because my first bucket my freshman year in high school was an alley -oop dunk, so kind of brought back flashback memories and everything. It was really unique. You seemed comfortable perimeter shooting and knocked down the threes and things. You felt comfortable, more comfortable than, than the other night at the exhibition game? Um, yeah, my, my confidence is going to continue to rise just due to the fact that my teammates trust me more than myself. You know, they know I can take the, the shot. They know I can dribble, pass. Um, as long as my teammates have faith in me, I'm going to have faith in my shot also. Bruce, I know you got to come back now Sunday afternoon. That's a pretty quick turn, almost like a tournament situation. Right? Uh, I think we just get treatment with Hav, and we'll be great. We'll be ready. What are you doing tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, watch the game at home yeah. and relax. Got to watch it on TV. Can't go to the game, sadly, but I definitely, definitely going to be rooting by the heart, going crazy like a little kid, jumping up and down. So It's going to be so down in there, too. Can't wait.